Uh, next one we have in is uh, Dark Cross 91-7. He'd be another choice lot. So uh, he is a wide awake on, on that sow we call Pearl, uh, which would have been exhibited there by Megan Smith McCarley. She'd have been responsible as well for that uh, fourth overall uh, market guilt there at the state fair last year. Um, obviously, we got intact bearer boar. Uh, you know, we do think this one has some boar features for sure. Uh, and then obviously he still has, uh, you know, some bearer proportions as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember that guilt. It's uh, the side of this one's mom uh, uh, that was, man, she got better every day of her life. I mean, I watched that thing every week uh, grow up and, and, uh, you buy animals uh, out of elite sows, and, and that sow is elite. And and this litter is very, very good. Uh, um, you know, he's he's picturesque, if you will, from the side. But then he comes at you big and stout and square. Uh, and he's got outlier pieces and parts with a, a very comfortable, collected presence from the side. Yeah, that one hits me definitely dual purpose. And, uh, I mean, you, you decide which way you need to go, whether you want to feed that one and manip manipulate him as a bear or let that one be a stud as a boar. I mean, that one is athletic. Um, his skull and length of front of his blade, all the dimensions are really good. That is, a, again, equally a number, a big set of bones, uh, um, a very flexible spine as far as levelness, and then watch him reach off his hind leg with a great big hind leg and a, and a big hairy paw for both ends if you want to talk it that way. I mean, all those things. And, then, I mean, again, typically his nose all back, that dimension of skull, the, the, the tail root, the bones, the feet, all the indicators are very stout. Um, have have a lot of fun with that one. Wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go, or as long as you want to go, that's a very neat pig at 91.7.